Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Hazari. Right now, we're about to react to I attempted a Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke by Jane Animations. Now, if you have not, if you haven't seen my previous videos, I'm react to a uh, what was it again? It was Burr, Among Us, Funny Moment Memes. If you have seen that video, please, please, please go check it out. Also, if you want a shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications, and let me know in the comments down below that you did that. And that's all I'll say. So let me talk and get on the video. So if you're new here, hi. I've done this before. Last I year I made a video one. about my first ever Pokemon Nuzlocke and the game I played in it, it was Pokemon Ruby. It was fun, so here I am again doing another. But this time I attempted to Nuzlocke Pokemon Platinum. I'll explain again super quickly how a Nuzlocke works. I have Pokemon, uh, what's called? Pokemon, uh, Diamond. The old Pokemon games I have, it's uh, Pokemon, um, Fire Red, Pokemon Diamond, and Pokemon Emerald. Yeah, Pokemon... Fire Red, Emerald, and Diamond. And I think out of those three, I think I gotta say, maybe, oh, that's kind of hard. Maybe, uh, was it, uh, it's between Fire Red and Emerald, it's like my favorite. I think, um, maybe Emerald might be my favorite, probably. Yeah, yeah, probably. I mean, Pokemon Fire Red had more memories, like, I remember just, I didn't know. I, the, in Pokemon Fire Red, I only used Charizard. I didn't use any other of my teams. I only used Charizard. I literally leveled up Charizard. Level 84. I literally went to the cave and I, like battled more and more and more. Like, kept battling the Pokemon and leveling him up. Literally leveled him up to 84 and beat the Elite Four with just Charizard. Literally, he lost, like, he, he ran out of moves. Like, he ran out of power points, it's called PV. Uh, he ran out of uh, uh, power points, so he can't use flamethrower, scratcher, and uh, nothing. So the only move he can use is struggle. It still one-shotted the Pokemon, but it also did damage to him. But still, I still won with just Charizard. So yeah. You can only catch the first Pokemon you run into per route. If a Pokemon faints, it dies and you can't use it anymore. And you yeah, have to nickname yeah. your Pokemon so you grow more attached Bobby to them. Juice. If you still don't understand, that's not my problem. Let's get started. I mean, I already oh boy. This was my Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. I like the first one. I like the first Nuzlocke she did. Pokemon! Whoa. So my friend and neighbor Barry is practically dragging me all over the place with his hyperactive squirrel brain, frantically trying to get a Pokemon as soon as possible from this Professor Rowan he saw on TV. He drags me out to Route 201 and is about to leap into the tall I like grass the music. when- the music. This music, I always like dance to it when I'm like, <laughs> when I'm like playing the game, I always dance to the music, it's just so awesome. Hold it! You guys know going into the tall grass is practically a death wish, right? What you're doing is basically suicide. Borderline insanity, what absolute moronic lunatics you are. Have you no respect for your lives? I mean, he didn't say that in the Do you the have any game, Pokemon? But... No. Yeah, he said that, but he didn't say it others. Do you want some? And like that, I have a Turtwig. I named him Turt and immediately used him to bash in Barry's gym char. I was making my way through oh, yeah, the routes, I but I right as I was about- Oh yeah, I picked a- Oh no, I didn't pick Turtwig. I picked Infant, uh, Chimchar, yeah. But Chimchar is kind of the worst one you can pick because when it evolves into a Infernape, Infernape is a fire and fighting type, and those don't do well together. So that means Infernape's weak too. Because in Pokemon, any Pokemon game, you're going to be going through a cave a lot. So, in K, there's like a lot of flying Pokemons, like for example, like Golbat or Zubat, or not Zubat, but like Golbat, and they're like, uh, Infernape is very weak to uh, flying type Pokemon, so that could be bad. About to nab the Shinx I found on 202. Don't kill it. Nope! You can still get another one. So, no Shinx for us. But that's all right. Shinx isn't that great this early anyway. Then I locked eyes with our first trainer, the first battle. Let's see how we fare against youngster Tristan and his level five Starly. Oh, oh my oh. God. So in the first trainer battle that I ever fought, close. I almost immediately lose my starter to a critical hit. Why wait. do I suddenly have a very bad feeling? So wait, what happens if you lose the your starter Pokemon? You probably lose the game. Feeling about this. Nevertheless, we kept going onward through Jubilife City, where we caught Kronk the Zubat in the cave above Route 204, and Magikarp on 218. Magikarp, Hi, okay. Magikarp. Your name is Puppy. Just outside the city, <laughs> Barry runs up and demands another Whoa, battle. Why he look so like I Sonic? 
He looked like Sonic for a second. Bastion is Chimchar again, and it's Starly too. I kept on my way, eventually arriving in Orberg City and nervously challenged Rourke. I was terrified of his Kranidos, but Turret landed a crit razor leaf and one shot it before it could oh even gosh. do anything. So that's badge number one yeah, for us. So I made it to Floroma Town and was really excited because if you didn't know, outside the Valley Windworks, you can find Shellos. And if you didn't I'm sorry, know- I, I, I'm sorry, I, I'm, I just love this music. It's just so like, you can dance to it. It's like so energetic. Again, I love Shellos. I ran straight to the grass to get my Shellos encounter and <laughs> oh, a, uh, I'm not gonna pass Shinx, up an encounter, so I, I very depressingly I caught the Shinx and named yeah, it failure Shinx. to vent my sadness and frustration failure. over not getting a slug. While there, we found Team Galactic messing around, stealing electricity and this little girl's dad. So I beat up the grunt guarding the door, broke in, beat up the grunts in the building until Turd evolved, then found Galactic Commander Mars at the end of the corridor, who I was scared of because she's got a fat cat that hits like a semi-truck. But I had a plan. Back in the Orberg Mines, I caught Dwayne the Onyx, and I brought him to the <laughs> fight because the in case things got dicey, I would switch him in Onyx is a rock, so Dwayne the rock to buy time and heal up my other Pokemon. Basically, Oh, um, so you're using him as a- Turt took out Mars' Zubat, oh, so and when Krugly came out, okay, Krug plucked smart, off though. the Orenberry it was holding. But she got hit pretty hard in the process, and since Turt needed a bit of healing before he could get back into it... Dwayne can take a scratch. Look at that. Dwayne is- Dwayne is fine. He's fine, guys. Don't pull the, the sad nose for Dwayne. Dwayne's fine. Don't worry about him. Don't this worry about down. him. Oh my Whoa. god! <laughs> you are so Dude. lucky. All right, I'll give him that. I'll give him that. Dwayne gets to live. Somehow, when Dwayne was supposed to die, he hung in there on one HP. Okay. And you know what? I respected the hell out of him for it. I let Dwayne live, and Turt was able to take out the Perugly. What a legend. But then I put him back in the box and moved on. In Mount Cornet, I caught a Bronzor <laughs> wow. I named Big Boy, which I happily added to the team. And right before Gardenia's gym, Kronk evolved, which meant no mercy for those flower ladies. Right, Badge number two. We slashed the guard bushes in front of the Galactic Building and ran up all the stairs where we fought Galactic Commander Jupiter. Let's take a look at how that went. Don't crit. Don't crit, don't crit. Get do critical attack. Ah, ah, no! <gasps> but, oh, I mean, dang. that won't do... Oh, oh. Let's just hit it. Don't crit him. No. Oh my god. Dang. We finally these were able Nuzlocks to beat her, but like... that fight really not- Bro, these Nuzlocks are so like, like, uh, what's it called? Like, like heart racing, bro. Because if you, if your Pokemon dies, I never did a Nuzlocke, but like, uh, there's like times where like a lot of my Pokemon's fainted. Knocked the wind out of me. I'm I was shaking on my way lock. back to the Pokemon Center when this lady Cynthia shows up and is like, "Egg? Uh, uh, yeah." Anyway, even meeting Cynthia wasn't enough to calm my nerves. So to keep my mind off the absolute tragedy we narrowly avoided, I decided to start training up Big Boy on Cycling Road. And then he died. I've practiced this game and. Oh. So yeah, before yeah, you push he, up your weak, anime glasses he, 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 and tell me that Steve- Yeah, he's weak against the uh, Broads, I think that's his name. He's weak against fire type Pokemon. Steel is weak to fire, which I know, by the way. The reason I kept Big Boy in was because not only is his defense an iron wall, but he had heat proof, which negates his fire weakness. But then he got crit. So, yeah. first step. I'm sorry, big boy. You never had the opportunity to become a big boy. I walked into Wayward Cave and okay. found a Gibble. Gibble is oh, an Gibble. amazing Pokemon. It turns into Garchomp, which is easily one of, if not the strongest Pokemon in the game that isn't a legendary. Adding it to the team would give us such a huge advantage. And now there is Did nothing in my way before? between that and- Boy, you killed it. <laughs> He's like, I didn't mean to, I'm sorry. And we're moving on. We arrived in Heart Home City where I caught DeVito the Ralts, Kronk and Puppy Evolved. We had a clean win against Fentina, and some lady gave us an Eevee I named Milk. Things were and starting milk. to look better now. I was leveling up DeVito against trainers, and when fighting this lovey dovey couple. Uh, <laughs> let's go into Puppy. Get rid of the Buizel. Oh no! Oh, they go for. Oh! You're kidding. You're kidding. Dang. And that's why I hate love. 
In came <laughs> Shrimp the Scyther I caught on Route 210. Some good news, on Route 213, I finally found a Shellos. I named it Swoop, and I loved it. I loved it so much. I know you're not supposed to have a favorite child, but Swoop was my favorite child, and I wasn't <laughs> apologetic about it. I trained it up, and now we got a Gastrodon. Turt ended up evolving too, so together with Kronk and Swoop, Maylene was defeated, and badge number four was secured. Is that Mewtwo? Outside of Pastoria City, that I caught like a Mewtwo Quagsire for a named Lol. But when I went to get my Great Marsh encounter, I was trying to get a Yanma and accidentally threw a ball at a whooper. So now we've got lol Wait, and oops how? in the box. Then I swept Crasher Wait, Wake Ball at a it? whooper. So now uh, we've so got lol and oops in the box. Uh, then I swept okay, Crasher Wake with Milk, who is now a Jolteon, with the TM Thunder I bought literally next door. I walked out of the gym and uh, Team Galactic set off a bomb. I ran Dang. down the grunt who detonated it and took him out because he is weak. Cynthia appears again and tells me to bring a charm to her grandma. So I'm like, yes, ma'am. We found her in Celestial Town along herself? with Cyrus, the leader of Team Galactic, who starts some evil Shakespeare speech about how everything is imperfect so he's got to blow up the world or something. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. And then he wanted to fight. Puppy took out his Sneasel and I sent out Milk to take care of his Golbat. But Milk decided he wanted to be lazy and not only miss all his thunders but also punch himself in the face. Milk! Yeah, Confuse is so annoying, bro. Oh, crap. Is he dead? Oh, you... Oh, he has poison too. You can't. You can't be doing this. Kronk came out and killed the Golbat because so Milk was lucky. being difficult. But I gave him a second chance and he took out the Murkrow. Anyway, here's your dusty charm. I went out and caught a Magnemite named C, then arrived in Canalave City where we barged into Byron's gym and demolished his team with Swoop and Turd. Then Team Galactic sets off another bomb, this time at Lake Valor. So Barry, Professor Rowan's assistant Lucas, and I split up to check on the lakes. As I'm strolling past all the flopping Magikarp, I run into Galactic Commander Saturn. Me, who I, don't swept really, I don't really remember the story too well because it's been a long time since I played Pokemon Diamond, but... I don't know if Pokemon Platinum and Diamond are the same. I think they're kind of the same, but it's like different legendaries you catch. Probably, I don't know. I don't remember the story that well, so maybe I might not understand like what's going on maybe. Or maybe I will, I don't know. The floor with. After that, we headed over to Lake Verity where we did the exact same with Mars. There was a part where Turt got crit and almost died. Oh god. Oh god. But we're fine, he's fine. Finally, we had he, to go check up on Barry at Lake Acuity, and after trekking through six feet of snow for like a mile, we get there to find Barry at the top of a cliff like, ha ha ha, you can't climb rocks. Come back when you can climb rocks, loser. I'll go fight Candace's gym now, I guess. Now, we've been having some good type matchups with the past few gyms, so I haven't really been nervous about most of them, but Candace uses ice types, which like half my team is weak against. Oh yeah, you're which, right. Which, you know, Nervousness rising. Like Not a, only was I at a massive type disadvantage, but the main threats I think you on it. like a what's it called a fire type. Well, here's the thing: a fire type's weak against ice, but also ice is weak against fire too. So yeah, fire type's like the best thing you can do. Her team were her Obama snow because oh, it hits like a truck. And that's it, oh yeah, you have to have a fire type because that's a grass and an ice type. So basically, you'd be doing like a lot of damage to it. But you better make sure it's up to whoever hits the. Whoever makes the move first. If he makes the move first, then the fire type is dead. If the fire type makes the move first, then that's dead. And sets up hail and a frost slash because it'll use the hail from the Obama snow to heighten its evasiveness with snow cloak. Spam double teams and then just sweep my team. I walked in, took a deep breath, which didn't make me feel better at all, and started the battle. Shrimp took out her Sneasel and Swoop took out her Pile of Swine, almost dying in the process, and then she finally brought out the big bad Obama snow. Since it's Grass Ice type, I taught Puppy Fire Blast. Yeah, I didn't know we could... Dip. Anyway, I wasn't <laughs> sure it could one-shot because Puppy's not a special attacker, and lo and behold, it didn't. It, 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 it didn't miss. Please kill it, please. It's quad. It's quad. Oh! What? Eventually, Puppy took it so out, but that close. was absolutely terrifying. Last but not least, but you see, Frost I told you fire. I wanted to have work. Scoop rain dance uh, to get rid of the work. hail, so Frostlass's snow cloak is inactivated. But since Scoop was sitting at a not so chill 20 HP, that wasn't gonna work out super great. However, since I didn't want Kronk to be in this fight at all, right before the fight, I swapped her with Failure the Shinx. Uh, you yep. 
Oh, no, don't Sorry, use her as guy. bait. Failure looked up at the looming death that was Frostlass in front of her. No, and as I healed up school, Failure was killed in its blizzard. It's really unfortunate You're we had to cold. resort to it, but I give Failure a salute for stepping up and surrendering its life to the team. You're Scoop cold. came out, got wow. off the rain dance, and you after you a literally used the shinks, just you're cold, you know that? Post battle was able to pull through. We won, but it wasn't without sacrifice. We had a moment of silence for failure, the true MVP of the fight. Gone, but not forgotten. Now we could climb the rocks to Lake Acuity, We're and when failure. we got up there, Barry's got snot dripping failure. down you his face, his crying in the snow because he got beat up by Jupiter, who looks at me and is like, See ya! I'm going to Veilstone HQ. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna go to Veilstone. We start running yeah. through the base trying to <laughs> find Osiris, but when fighting this scientist... Psychic. Porygon 2 freaks me out. It is way too powerful, way too bulky, and it's way too... weird. I do like Porygon 2, though. I would like a plush of Porygon 2. Very cute. Oh. What? 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 Oh. What? Oh, well, that sucks. That... No! No! Scoop! We lost Scoop! That I sucks. wasn't okay. Turt came out and curb stomped the Porygon 2 out of vengeance, but to put it lightly, I wasn't taking that too well. My heart is breaking. I'm mm. like actually sad. <laughs> but life doesn't stop when your dog that dies, sucks. so I had to keep trucking and brought Law the Quagsire to the team. With an intense, blood curdling thirst for revenge, I stormed into Cyrus's Dang. room. Scissors. Fight! Shrimp and Milk took Dang. out his team Scissor in no time. I snatched his, his master ball and used his teleport pad to enter the basement where Mess Spirit, Azelf, and Yuxi are all being held captive. Fight! And like Cyrus, Saturn was swept too. After releasing the Lake it Guardians, like we head to Mount Cornet because Cyrus like... wants to go there and destroy the planet, I think. And we catch up to him at the Spear Pillar. Before we can run up and attack him, Mars and Jupiter step in. Oh, I then Barry part. arrives. I Honestly, I have no idea how he found us. Yeah, yeah, I remember this part where it's a double, it's a two on two battle. Okay, yeah, yeah. Literally, I literally did most of the work on this. Barry, literally, he just like died. Like, just. Literally, he's like the first one to die. I'm like, you did. I literally did all the work. Literally, my Pokemon's were so low on health because of him, bro. It's all here. And it's like, I'll help. Lol takes out both the Bronzers, Mars's Prugly, and Barry's Munchlax. So I thought, you know, it was all smooth sailing, right? Well. Wow, Barry. Really doing a lot for the team, aren't you? See, he just. Oh my it. god, no, it has Giga Drain? Oh, that's effective. He's a water type. Oh. No. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. It was a crit. Not only did I not know their goal, but yeah. it had Giga Drain for yeah, some reason, Golbat but it also a got a crit. So I was starting to feel bad, but then I started panicking. The thing is, after you fight Mars and Jupiter, yeah, you, you have, have to, to go into Giratina. the distortion world and fight Cyrus and Giratina. If yeah, Cynthia forces that. us into but the distortion... I didn't, I didn't fight Giratina. I fought a... Uh, what's his name? Uh, it's not Paul, yes, the other one. It was, uh, Dialga? I think Dialga, that's his name. Yeah, I thought Dialga. The world without us being able to get a new member. We're in massive trouble. We finished up the battle and Cyrus Wait. starts his whole spiel about how the world the portal, isn't perfect. Though. Blah, blah, Probably blah. Everything Giratina, must die that's... except for me. Then he gets swallowed up by Giratina. A hole opens a rip in space leading to the distortion world. And I'm kind of just standing off to the side twiddling my thumbs like, Cynthia, please don't shove me in there without my consent. Cynthia, can I can I go? I have something to do. Our world will be destroyed. Are you ready? No, I'm not. Let me go. I'm free. Holy crap. Let get me out of here. Really? Goodbye. I'm sorry, lol. Uh, okay. We just got you. And then <laughs> you died. But you luckily, in. remember when I accidentally caught that whooper while trying to get a Yanma? It's time, Oops. You are no accident. You're our lucky star who will carry us to victory. We got Oops leveled up, came back to the spear pillar where Cynthia was just sitting there waiting for us, and hopped in. Everything is topsy-turvy in the lake. I never went through that, actually. I don't think that's in Pokemon. Uh, yeah, there's like some tweaks that like the the like Pokemon uh, Platinum has that Pokemon Diamond and Pearl don't. So I think I might buy Platinum, maybe, because that seems interesting.
big guardians are telling me to push boulders in Pokemon, into holes. In Pokemon Diamond, there was no portal. It's just you fought Garrett, uh, Dialga, and that's it. You catch him, and that's it. And suddenly, I'm on a floating crest of land with Cynthia, who's basically like, Cyrus, get lost and never come back. And Cyrus didn't like that. So he came at me. Oops took out his Houndoom and his Gyarados came out, so I switched to Milk. But I was very terrified because Cyrus's Gyarados has Earthquake. So if Milk oh. misses his Thunder here, he dies. Yeah. And Milk is notorious for missing his Thunders. But yeah, Thunder is like a really, like most Pokemons that have Thunder, it's like most likely to miss. Thunderbolt, it doesn't miss, but Thunder does. Like I used to have a Pikachu that learned Thunder. But it kept missing it like all the time. Not in Pokemon uh, Diamond, but like it probably in like Pokemon Sun. But it hit. Milk lives another day. He also took out Cyrus's Crobat and Honchkrow, and Shrimp finished up his Weavile. Cyrus steps aside, and suddenly it's just me and the Angel of Darkness itself, Giratina. Oh God. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Wait, what the hell is happening? Wait, what's happening? He's just gonna master- she just got master ball I threw the master ball, and like that, it was over. I saved the world. Now to get back to my gym badges. I arrived at Sunny Shore City and started making Wait, my way through Faulkner's gym. The, I know you see it. What was the whole point for you to do, like, you splitting up into two people? I, like, I have no idea what was that about. Gym leader and he's supposed to be tough and apparently he's depressed because everyone who challenges him isn't good enough and he's bored. But I wasn't concerned. We have oops and none of his Pokemon can do anything about it. It's not like they have Giga Drain or anything, right? They didn't, I checked. Oops, was just earthquake and everything. <laughs> and at the end, no, I'll job. admit, I got a bit scared. Okay, don't crit. If you crit Giga Impact, that would be really in. Holy. But it's all good. We're all good. And with that, off to Victory Road we hmm. went, where we caught ourselves a Gabite I named Flakes. Oh, Gabite, would have okay. been nice to have one, I don't know, near the beginning of the game, say, in Wayward Cave, you know. But whatever. <laughs> yeah. Better late than never. It's good to have just in case something goes horribly wrong out of nowhere. Flakes is base 60. Yeah, it is. It's an amazing. Whoa, 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 whoa. No! Oh. God. You're kidding. Oh dear. And that's uh, the so straw that broke the months. camel's back. After Puppy died, I stepped back and decided the team we go into the Elite Four with needs to be the best possible team we can build. Oh, yeah. The Elite, Elite Four, four here hard. goes pretty hard. So yeah, I couldn't go in really kinda. nilly just hoping for the best. After literally a few hours of calculations and research, I settled on a team I thought would give us the highest possibility of winning. I added Flakes to the team in place of Puppy and with oh, a yeah. heavy- Guard Chomp, you have to make- Goodbye, level 50 to evolve with Garchomp. Heart, left like milk. Like those rare Pokemons, like for example, uh, Salamence, you have to, I don't know the second evolved version, but you have to make him level 50 to evolve him to Salamence, but I just got too lazy, so I just like left him like the, the second evolved form, I just like left him, I was like, you know what? Screw it, I'm not gonna waste my time just evolving him into a Salamence. Falcon Kronk behind as I brought See the Now Magnezone and Colgate the Togekiss I hatched from the eggs Cynthia gave me. Even though I was sad to not bring Milk and Kronk into the final battles with us, they won't be forgotten. And it doesn't negate the fact they were such huge assets to the team and I wouldn't have made it this far without them. I'll see you guys on the other side. I took a step towards the doors of no return and immediately got interrupted by Barry who wanted to have one last fight. Of course. Anyway. <laughs> Just like that. Yeah, I still don't get that. Like, I don't know what's the point of that. Did that Welcome. happen in the game? This is the Elite Four. I think it the might happen starts in the game, and C probably. takes out Aaron Zeon, Mega, and Vespiquin. Oops takes out his Rapion, and Colgate takes out his Scissor and Heracross. Next up is Bertha. <laughs> Bertha loves ground happening? types, but Turt and Oops had a weird. smooth time smashing through her team. I felt a horrible shiver Yo. when her Rhyperior came out, it's but gonna happen again, things is went it? well. On to Flint. 
Yeah, I knew. Wait, is this leading to something? I have no idea. Like, this is just weird. Flint has a pretty scary team, but luckily, Oops and Flakes had no trouble plowing through them as well. And with that, we're on to the last member, Lucian. Yeah, that's now, kind Shrimp of dumb hasn't had having a team full of fire-type Pokemon, because fire-type, like, well, if someone has, like, one water-type Pokemon, then you're screwed, because the water-type Pokemon's going to one-shot all your team. time to shine in these fights so far. So I decided I wanted to let her go all out. She set up sword stances and bullet-punched everything. Proud of you, Shrimp. And suddenly, I'm at the entrance to the champion. The trainer who's been known to crush dreams in a single battle, and many still fear to this day. Yep, I took a yep. deep breath. Things are going surprisingly well, and I don't know how to feel about it. But I looked up, and there she was. At this moment, I have only one last objective. Defeat Cynthia. Yeah. She leads with Spiritomb, which has no weaknesses, so oh, I yeah, sent out Turret Dick. Oh, Cynthia was, I, Cynthia was hard, though. The only reason... What sucks is when I... Um, Saved. I saved before battling with Cynthia. I should have done that. So I had let. I have to let Cynthia like beat me because like it was just like she was like too strong. Her Milo tick was like really strong too. So uh, it's just the poke. Uh, what's her the Pokemon she had? It was uh, the one that Jaden had, but it got one shotted though. Uh, I mean, she had multiple. I don't know. Maybe it would just show up and I'll just tell you what it is. They hit it as hard as possible. Flakes takes out her Togekiss and then her Garchomp comes out. This is known to be one of the toughest boss Pokemon in the entire franchise. And rightfully so. That thing was made by Satan himself and I'm sure even he fears what he has created. I immediately switched to Oops, who's the only Pokemon that can lead us to victory here. I planned to put it to sleep with Yawn and then Ice Beam it until it died. That was our only hope. But then, work. oops, is crit. And that was it. Nothing on my team can take a hit from this monster. And even if they could, they couldn't do much damage back. I sat there in disbelief, knowing there wasn't anything I could have done. And the battle is basically unwinnable now. I brought out Shrimp to bullet punch it so we could get in a little bit of damage, but she was killed. Ooh. Colgate tried to chip away at it. He did some damage too, but was crit one shot. At this point, Dang. I'd accepted defeat. Only Turt, C, and Flakes were left. It's hopeless at this point. Flakes came out, and against all odds, Flakes outsped Cynthia's Garchomp and killed it. I didn't Dang. think he could do it. He was two levels weaker, and I just, I, I, I don't know. I, did, I just didn't think he could outspeed it. Suddenly, Dang. there was a chance. We could win this after all. Cynthia brings out her Milotic, which C took oh. out with a few Thunderbolts. Yeah, Flakes took out the Lucario with Dig. Look, my Earthquake TM is on Squoop, and we all know what happened there. Finally, her last Pokemon comes out. Roserade. Flakes oh, went in- Oh, she didn't have the, the Pokemon? Oh, I don't know. I think the Pokemon- Yeah, I, was, I think it was Milotic that I was like, had trouble with. Yeah, Milotic was like really annoying. For the Dragon Claw, and the battle was over. We won. As Cynthia is congratulating me, hey, you won. a Let's sudden go. feeling of overwhelming guilt washes over my entire oh, body. Yeah, so intense it almost knocks me down. I don't think I deserve this. Something here isn't right. This wasn't meant for me. Back in the distortion world when Giratina split me in two, how do I know I'm me? What happened in the other timeline where I saw glimpses of what happened parallel to this world, that was me too. Oh, that was Those vicious. things happened. Was that the ending I'm destined to have? The world I'm living in now is how I want things to be, but the other Jaden is equally me as I am her. Even if you might think hey, I deserve this dimension, so things don't work like that. Are there some things you can't escape even when you try everything you can do to alter it? I don't know the answer. I may be able to sit on this throne now and thank all the Pokemon that put in everything to help me get here. All the hard work, blood, sacrifices we made, but I don't think I can Wait, ever- Wait, hold on, but Jolteon and uh, Crobat, they're not dead. You just put them in the, uh, the PC box, so they're, they're technically not dead, though. Except this victory. I don't know what ending was meant for me. And I don't think I ever will. Dang, why does this turn so sad? Is that the end? Yeah, 
Oh, she has like a note right here. Thank you for watching our, our videos. And thank you to my team who's continued to help and support Keep. It keeps me inspired and excited to keep to keep make these videos. I'm very happy you all are here with me. Is she like actually sad that like... Uh, should I try Nuzlocke? Probably, I might try one Nuzlocke. I mean, I don't want to start over my save data. But I probably might buy like a Pokemon Pearl or something. Or Pokemon Platinum and just try doing Nuzlocke. Anyways, um, the one Pokemon you don't want to lose is, like, your starter Pokemon. Because, like, your starter Pokemons are, like, really, like, strong. Like, they're, like, literally, in all Pokemon games, your starter Pokemon is the strongest out of everyone. So, uh, yeah. So, that was for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, bye, everyone.